things have been a little difficult out there. Are you wondering what you can do to help your business survive this turbulent economy? Hi, I'm Jennifer Aliyah with Secret to Visibility Online, and I help you cut through the noise and get visible without paying for ads, sending spammy messages, or spending all your day on LinkedIn. Now, if you haven't noticed, prices are going up, inflation is affecting us, and people are getting a little wary, especially business owners. We want to make it through this. We don't want this to affect our business. But how can you keep your business going when it seems like everyone is worried about the money, worried about the economy, and tightening their belts? Well, here's two things that every business should be doing and focusing on to get through this difficult time. Now, it's easy to panic and start having sales or slash your prices. Or you may think what I need to do is pour more money into advertising and push out ads on Facebook, LinkedIn, um, on the radio, wherever I can. But the truth is that there are just two things that are going to keep you going through this and putting more money into it when the economy is a little unsteady may not be the best choice for you. The first is to stay relevant. What are you talking about? What are you sharing about what you do? And what are you offering to your people that will help them get through this difficult time? It's affecting everybody. It's affecting every sector. So how can you make what you are doing relevant to what's going on right now? A lot of this comes down to education, sharing how what you do produces results, how it helps their business move further, and how it can help recession-proof their business. Now you may be thinking, I don't know if I recession-proof their business, but if you are improving sales, leads, communication, customer service, systems, the bottom line as far as saving the money, any of those things in the B2B sphere are what is going to help save businesses. So you are relevant and make sure people know it. The second biggest thing is they have to trust you. Trust is huge in the online sphere. It's always big. There are so many people out there peddling exactly what you do. There are millions of people saying that they're a coach, they're a graphic designer, they're a web designer, they are um, some other service or provider for businesses. How do they know who they wanna work with? Well, the biggest thing is trust. Because out of those people out there saying the same thing, many of them really aren't competent. And even more of them are just looking to make a buck and aren't really performing their duties to the best of their abilities. They're not serving their clients, they're serving themselves. And so they look for people who are desperate, who are scrambling, who are worried, and they say, I have the perfect solution for you. I can get you $200,000 in three weeks and you don't even have to get out of bed. You know you've heard those promises. And it sounds too good to be true, but at the time, you are so tired and worried and overwhelmed that you think, you know what? It's worth trying because I don't know what else to do. Well, here's what else to do. Show up for your audience consistently. Show them what you're capable of through stories, testimonials, and other shares, case studies, in fact. That shows that you are competent, you can do it, and that you're driven to get your people results. Show why people need to hire you. That builds trust. There are people out there that have a problem that you solve. At least 75% of them don't know what the solution is to their problem. They aren't coming on here and looking for mindset coach. How can you be relevant and build trust? By educating people on why they would need that, what it, the solution is, and the possibilities that it creates. And be here, don't just drop and run. Putting up posts for the sake of putting up posts doesn't build community, it doesn't build trust, and it doesn't make you relevant. Be here to interact with your audience and to build your audience. Comment on their posts, follow up, and send them messages when new people land on your post. So what are the two things you should be investing in right now? Making sure that your marketing and your messaging makes you relevant 
and that you know how to show up and engage so that you can build trust. I'm Jennifer Lee from Secret to Visibility Online. Thank you for watching. I'll be live again tomorrow at 11 and Friday at 8 a.m. with the Connections with Jennifer Aliyah, where I interview business leaders on what connections mean and how we can build a better business community for everyone. Please hit the bell and follow my um, posts and comment below so I can thank you and engage with you and get to know you better.